Good evening and welcome to Carter Shed. Just a quick little project for this video. I wanted to make a little gift to congratulate someone special on a well-deserved promotion. This is a really simple project, but I think it came out looking quite good. I'm going to use some oak offcuts and some leather to make a desk nameplate. I used a belt sander to sand the roughness off the oak. Then go through the grits with the hand sander to get the wood nice and smooth. Then I can square the piece off with the bandsaw. This cart has five tools all with integrated power and dust collection. If you've not seen the video I'll put a link above. Also if you're not subscribed to the channel it would be amazing if you could click that button. Now to mount the front plate to the base I'm just going to use a really simple method of a dowel and glue. I first get the dowel located into the front plate. Now with the dowel in place, I can offer up the base against the dowel to find the angle that I need to drill out into the base so that it all lines up. Now I'm happy with the fit of the wooden pieces, so now I can move on to the leather. Now the special someone is a big fan of Harry Potter, so that's the font we'll be using for the engraving. Now, this is where I had a little problem. The leather caught on the laser and ruined the print. I really wanted to use this green leather as it would have matched the room it was going into very well. Unfortunately, I didn't have another piece of green leather that would have been big enough so I had to switch colours. So whilst that new piece has been engraved by the laser, I can get the small piece stuck to the base using some CA glue and activator, then trim it to size. So here is the replacement piece of leather. I still think the green would have been better, but it's a pretty good substitute. Now I can just get some finish on the leather and the wood and put it all together. I use some neat foot oil for the leather and some Danish oil for the wood. Again, I just use some CA glue and activator to hold the leather in place while I secured it with some decorative furniture nails. I will use my favourite tool in this project again, the CA glue and activator, to secure the base to the front plate. But that's this project done. The next video is going to be a bit of a different one. It's going to be a catch up of some things around the shed that have been progressed but not really filmed. And I have a load of other projects that should be coming out soon. So. Thanks for watching, stay tuned and good evening.